the electric EOWL 6s have finally arrived. Here's a few pictures of the shipping container on the truck coming up to my loading docks. It is a 40 foot long high cube shipping container. Truck is now backing up to the loading dock. So pretty exciting. It's just the back few boxes are uh, cardboard. That's sort of extra parts. And then after that, there's a bunch of wooden containers and then the whole rest of it is full of uh, the wooden containers which contain the electric EO wheel sixes. Yeah, it looks like there's one box at the bottom with bobbins in it that got squished. I think that'll be the only one. I'll have to take a close look at those, but uh, that's just a few of them. So overall, it's looking really good. So we're just a few minutes into unpacking. All these big boxes are the bobbins. We call them discs and tubes. There was one that was broken open, but nothing there was damaged. And in the shipping container, we've got some more boxes to unload. That's going pretty easily. And then it's gonna be all these wooden boxes all the way back. And those will come out easier with the uh, pallet jack. So things are looking good so far. Well, we ran into a, a problem. The people who made these boxes, they made two of these that were double wide. And I can't get those off with the pallet jack. They're just a bit too big for our loading dock. So we're trying to get a forklift on the outside to load them into the loading dock. And then after that, all of them will be half this big and I'll be able to uh, get those off with the pallet jack, I think. Here's a picture of the forklift loading one of the double wide crates into my loading dock. These were a true pain. I mean, even with a forklift, these are hard to get out. So I'm very happy that my facility had a forklift that we could use to unload those. Whew, that was exhausting. Go to the gym a lot and uh, <laughs> I was thinking, ah, this will be easy. This this won't be a problem at all. But uh, it was hard work. Holy cow, I'm drenched in sweat. My forearms and hands are hurting. But uh, I'm really happy I got it all loaded into my warehouse. This, this warehouse was really empty before. There were just a few boxes of uh, nanos, like maybe uh, about four of these wooden boxes. And now you can see that there's one, two, three, four... They're five deep and there's three rows plus a bunch of other stuff. So we're talking a lot, a lot, lot of electric EO wheel sixes to ship. Well guys, as I mentioned, that was truly exhausting. I was expecting this to be a pretty easy unload now that I've been going to the gym so often and it turned out to be really a lot more work than I had thought. I should have really had some help here to uh, help unload the trailers, but I managed it and um, they are now unloaded, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, yeah, I need to talk to the people who made those giant wooden boxes for sure because they were just like two inches too high so that uh, they kept hitting the door on the shipping container as I was unloading them with the manual pallet jacks and that would, and, and the truck that delivered them was also like four inches higher than the loading dock, which I've never seen before which meant that the ramp coming out of the truck was a lot steeper. And then that combined with the uh, boxes being so close to the ceiling caused an angle such that they would just like get wedged into the door. It was, it was like multiple things just went wrong. But um, I definitely have learned a lot with this unload and uh, I will be able to specify better boxes next time so that the unload is easier. I will also likely uh, hire some help so that I am not um, fretting over getting everything unloaded within the two hour time slot. Um, I managed to do it, but just bare, I mean, actually I was like two minutes over, but uh, the trucking guy was pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, truckers in the US uh, that ha handle these shipping containers, they uh, never help. It's just part of their contract. I don't blame them at all for that, but it, it definitely means that you have to do everything yourself. And uh, uh I, uh, I underestimated the amount of work this time, combined with a few, you know, unfortunate things that sort of compounded and made it difficult, 
more difficult than I had expected on load. But like I said, everything is off. Um, I'm really happy that it looks like nothing was damaged in shipping. Uh, so uh, now I just start the long process of getting the electric EO Wheel 6s ready to ship. And I'm pretty confident next week I'll start shipping out uh, electric EO wheel sixes to uh, all of you Kickstarter backers. Thanks for all of your awesome support and I'll definitely be uh, doing some more updates as I start shipping.